Hi guys, and before today's video starts, I'm going to thank Spin Master Kinetic Sand for sponsoring this video. We are going to see Porkland in a minute, but just you wait, this is going to be very cool. This is the Kinetic Sand Sat Sanders Factory. I can't wait to show you what I'm going to create because I've got some amazing ideas. Let's get creating and the first thing that I wanted to try was a black sand cube. And basically what it is, is you put loads of sand into your cube here. Push it into your black sand mould all the way and I'm going to slowly pull it up. So next step is a scoop of each coloured sand. Let's put some blue in there. And to get the perfect cut, use this tool here and push it down into the mould. And then we're going to finish it off with some black sand. So all the edges are covered and we don't know what it looks like. Cut off all the excess. Now for the reveal, I'm so excited. Whoa, that looks amazing. Right, let's do another creation. So again, we're gonna start off with black around the edges. Oh, and you're gonna get your orange dome. Let's reveal what's inside. That is so cool. You can also mix the colours too. There's so many ways to create with kinetic sand, not only with shapes, but with colours too. Kinetic sand is mesmerising magic sand that flows through your hands and never dries out. So you can play with it all day long and it won't dry out. It's so fun to play with and it kind of de-stresses me. Even though I don't have much stress in me, it's so calming to play with it and it's incredibly satisfying. I hope you enjoyed watching my kinetic sand creations and I definitely recommend the Sander Factory set because it's so satisfying and you can make so many different things with it. But now let's continue the video with popcorn. Hi guys, I'm Harlow and I'm Chelsea, Harlow's mum. Welcome back to the channel and in today's vlog it's a very, very exciting vlog for me and for Popcorn because we are going hunting. Well we're going out with the hounds today so it's like a hack with the hounds, there's not actually, it's not a proper fox hunt or, or any kind of hunt actually, we're just going out with the hounds because they're exercising them and this is the perfect opportunity for popcorn to go out with lots of ponies and there will be loads of ponies today. So yeah, he's going to be... He's going to be on one. <laughs> he's going to be very excited. So yeah, this is just all about just seeing what happens, um, gaining experience and yeah, just we've never seen popcorn in this kind of environment before. So yeah, so it's a great opportunity today. So yeah, we're just getting popcorn ready, all loaded up in the trailer and we're going to take him about 40 minutes away half an hour 40 minutes away so you're going to see what we get up to in our morning preparation and it's very early we've had to get up very early and it's now about seven o'clock so yeah early start oh i need to go in there and open up the windows for him because he likes to nose his nose out ow oh. yeah I've put it in the car. No, I want it in the trailer. Why? Look at it, because it's not designed to go in there. I need to go in the trailer and open up the windows for him to nose his nose out. Oh, I, I wouldn't bother about it. Crazy. Okay. Should I get him off the walker now? Um, no, just wait. I want to make sure we've got everything tomorrow. Oh, what rugs are you going to travel in? Mum, oh, has he finished his... Oh, he's been licking his salt lick. Oh, yeah, he's very wet. Nice and wet. <laughs> he's finished all the time. Oh, he's been playing with his little toy. That's so cute. Yeah? In the trailer, you mean? Yeah. Oh no, oh no. Let's go. 
Whilst me and my mum are packing up the car and the trailer, Popcorn is on the walker trying to get some energy out. Yeah, we're trying to make sure he's not too fizzy today. So yeah, he's going to stretch his legs on the walker and Harlow's off to get him now. But we are always late, aren't we, Harlow? Mm. Everywhere we go, like, we are so late. Every precaution that we take to try and not be late, it just fails and yeah. we end up being late. So last night, we well, actually two days ago, we started packing the stuff, didn't we? Yeah. To try our hardest to not be late today because the thing is, if we was late, all of the ponies will, will just go. So if we're late, we're gonna miss the ride. So yeah, we have got to be on time today. So yeah, I started packing two days ago and we're just hoping for the best and we're trying just not to faff around basically, aren't we? No. Because we're just quite good at quite doing quite Yeah, good we're, at quite, that. we're quite good at faffing around. And taking our time. Because mm, we're thinking, oh, we can just drive a bit faster or, oh, it's gonna be really easy to get there. There's gonna be no traffic, but then there's loads of traffic. Yeah, and then we end up forgetting stuff as well. So not only are we late, we always forget something like really important like syrup, <laughs> girths, all that kind of important stuff. Hair stuff. Yeah, we forgot everything, haven't we? We're, it's all a learning curve. So yeah, we packed a, as much as we could last night. And yeah, we're just hoping for the best today that we're gonna get there on time. Can we do it? I don't know. <laughs> You'll have to wait and find out. See all the pinks coming out of his tail. He's just got a couple of pink highlights, really. <laughs> oh, look at his nose. <laughs> you got all breakfast all over your nose. Oh, Pokemon, you got breakfast everywhere. Look at the floor. A breakfast monster. Just staying over. Oh, was he made in poo? Oh, down his back leg. <laughs> We've been through so many bottles of fly spray, it's actually insane. Mm. Mark off, yay. On him, babe. What on earth is that? Stinger Roofer. When have you ever decided to get this dirty? Of all of the day's popcorn. Well, he's definitely been lying down. Do you want to itch? Do you want to itch? No? Not today? Okay. Okay. <coughs> Serious? That's, that's your wee? Okay. Oh, look away. Are you busting? Yeah? Yeah? Mm-hmm. Are you busting? Yeah? I checked the stirrups were on the saddle this time and not in the cupboard. Now, fuck on, the ramp's going to be quite slippery, okay? Good boy. Guys, we're the first ones here. There's no one else in this field apart from us. Like, this is a miracle. Popcorn's wrapped up in this nice warm rug. Wow. 
Wait. Wait, Popcorn, you're tied up. You're tied up. You can't go anywhere. You're tied up. <laughs> you can do it. And should I come out now? <gasps> and a grass. Oh, look, his tail bandage has stayed in. We've bought him the new gel Acavello one. And we've never tried it before. Open up. Darling, come on, come on. Darling, you've got to stay still, stay still. <laughs> Good boy, Popcorn! Good boy! Right, we are on Popcorn. It's raring to go, literally. Oh, don't poke your eye into the branch. We're just going to have a bit of a warm-up. The hounds are right there. Um, they're being ready to be released. Um, and then we're going to go. Oh, let's introduce the other ponies. These ponies have been in quite a lot of other vlogs. So if you've watched I Turn Popcorn Pink vlog, you would have seen these ponies. Calm down. Right, so we've got Isla, the rider, and Meadow, and then Parsnip and Lucy. Parsnip's a pony, and Lucy's the rider. Have you guys ever been on a hunt before? I don't know if Popcorn has. He might have been on one with his old owners. Um, but apart from that, I don't think he's been on one before. What have you seen? Right, should we go over there now? Because I think everyone's lining up. Also, we were first to get here, but we were like last to tack up. So, um, yeah. But at least we were on time. Down. Steady. Calm down. Good boy. Steady. If you know from some of our other vlogs, when we go out on hacks, we try to keep it down in quite a small amount of ponies because when there are lots and lots of different ponies, he gets very excited. And there are about 30 ponies here today. So, um, wish me luck. <laughs> His excitement levels are going to be over the roof. He's being quite calm at the moment, probably because everyone's standing still. But when we get going, he's going to want to be at the front, no matter what. Oh my goodness, they, the hounds have been released. They're like puppies let out of a cage. Popcorn's looking at them. Like, what are those dots in the distance? Oh my goodness. Would you like a biscuit on your very smart pony? Um, no, thank you. I'm fine. Shake off the skills. Shake off the skills. Shake off the candy corn. Now ride the witch's broom. Ride the witch's broom. Yeah, he's just going on a jog. I don't know what's going on. You've got to have a very good seat for a very good pony, for a very wizzy pony. I'm not even joking, he's doing the pia. I know. I can't really see what I'm doing at the moment. Popcorn, not in the bushes. Back up. Right, he's being really hyper today. 
good boy. Yeah, I'm fine. I'm just circling and sitting. You're not walking, are you? He likes to like do what everyone else is doing. So if someone's walking, he's walking. If someone's trotting, he's trotting. And if someone's standing still, he's standing still. He's already out of breath. He's been doing a lot of PF. I think he is capable of doing a PF after today. Let's start training. Fast the Oh, popcorn. I saved him. You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. You alright? Yeah. Sure? Yeah, he just got, she just got my leg. You alright? Yeah, she did it right there. But you didn't get hurt? No. No. Right. Popcorn okay. just probably felt something. In front. <laughs> you okay? Yeah. Yeah. I protected his ribs, my leg. I'm taking the branch with me. I've claimed the branch is mine. Oof, my hat's gone a bit wonky now. She didn't even wait. It was like as soon as he touched her, hit her legs were up. I'm in the bush. Good boy. Oh, good boy. Yeah. Don't eat that, it's got blood in it.
in. Oh, you shake a little pony. Oh, cheeky pony. What did he do? Did he did he proper buck? Popcorn. Not very good manners, thank you. We're going to untack popcorn, get this gorgeous boy in the trailer and then we're going to head home and I think wash his legs off. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, and my hands are scratching post. Oh. Oh, is my foot scratching post now? <laughs> He was a very good boy though. One, two, three. There we go. Oh yeah, he's definitely gonna have a wash. I can't believe how amazing he was having like 30 or 40 ponies here. He was a very, very good boy. He's fine there, he likes sniffing poo. So also I tried my hardest just to stay calm and I think that really helps. JD! Do you have my head collar? He's yeah. been such a good boy just standing here. This is part of one's new favourite thing. Are right, you done? Are you done? Right, let's get that saddle off him and let's get him home to the wash bay so we can clean him. It's lavender wash. Yeah, it's fine. It's wash, babe. Okay. Wash is wash. Do you need to rinse it out? No, you just, but you just rub it all in. Rub all this in. With the thing, with the magic stuff. Do you want to take that jacket off, babe? We don't want that getting dirty. Okay. I'll do it. You smell it? Mmm, smells nice. I like you. Guess what I got? Yes, yes. Look at this beautiful boy. Hey. 
and we're getting all the sweat off him. Yeah? Yeah? Oh, Mummy, you gave everyone a kiss. Are you going to give everyone a kiss again? Oh, you're so cute, Pokemon. I'm just going to wash these muddy boots down. I won't bother putting them all in the washing machine. I'm just going to simply jet wash them down. Because they are waterproof and, I mean, it's just dirt that's sitting on them and sweat. They're coming out really nice and clean. You want to make sure you get all the mud off them because um, when it dries, it could itch them because you don't want to be like putting all the mud back on them. Look at all that sweat there. It's like all in one lump there. I'm guessing this was one of the back boots because it's very pooey. Are you my tired little pony? Yeah? Yeah? Yes? I think you're a bit fed up. Do you not want a blow dry? No. Let's empty the trailer and you're having a blow dry. Also, what I'm going to do is get all of the poo from the shavings out and then put a, a couple new shavings in because um, you know me not the best at working out and I'm going to take half the shavings with me. <laughs> Air bonnet. Another hat. Right, let's take this little load. Yeah, at the end there were like a couple logs dotted around like the car park because we parked on um, grass and there was like a of a space. We tried to jump some of the logs and popcorn, went to the log, jumped over it as massive as we can, and then after did loads of massive bucks and my saddle slipped down to his belly. I'll quickly mount them in the outdoor arena. So we're just putting the ponies up into the field and we're gonna go, they're gonna um, go up together. And I'm going bareback. I haven't ridden him bareback for a long time. Popcorn's best friend is also going up to the field. They share a field together and they are absolutely best friends. Um, my trainer, Ellie, caught, got a video of them, caught them grooming each other and they were like licking each other and they're really cute together. It's the first actual pony that Popcorn can like have a really good play with that like, not even play, like, 
even sniff without like getting angry at. They're absolutely best friends and they're both really small ponies as well. Oh, okay, I guess we're trotting. His name is Milo and as you can see, Popcorn absolutely loves him. I can't stop Popcorn. <laughs> and now he walks because he's all caught up with Milo. <laughs> oh, did you want to see your best friend? Um, Milo is a bit bigger than Popcorn. The one in the far field, that's got the foal in. And I don't know if Milo's going to be okay with the foal. Has he ever been in a field with a foal before? No. I think... Oh, good boy. I think they might get... Okay, so I wouldn't want to try... Yeah. Until, until oh, yeah, we can go in that field there. Yes, I think that's where Milo was before, wasn't Yeah, I didn't realise they put those two in together because normally they'd go in separate fields. Oh, that's a foal! Oh, oh Milo's rolling. That's what he did in the morning. That's why his rug is so dirty. Now he wants to get his <laughs> That's the patch that all of them roll in. I think popcorn might roll. Yeah, popcorn's going down as well. Oh, look at this. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's the rolling ceremony. Oh, yeah. Are you really need to get in it all out, Popcorn. Mm -hmm. Oh, stretches. <laughs> Go on! <laughs> Go on, Popcorn! Yeah. Yeah. Hello, Jacob! Oh, you're so cut. Oh, his star's growing on his head. Yeah, yeah he's got a little star. <laughs> I want to go see Popcorn's rug. Should we go in and see their rugs? Because they're going to be filthy. Yeah, all of the other horses. When the foal was in this field, yeah. um, that was the space that they yeah. all rolled. Popcorn, can I inspect you? His leg. Oh, Popcorn, I washed your... His face. Look at them, they're best friends. Yes, you. You're not going to gallop? No. 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 They've got the whole food and they're like sharing the same strands of grass. <laughs> Popcorn! <laughs> You're like, you have some grass on you? <laughs> Miley didn't even care, he was walking. Maybe Come on, baby! Maybe you're just stopping Milo. He's like, Milo, wait for me. Oh. Both the ponies are rolling at the exact same, same time. Chica, come on. Why don't they roll so long? Hey, Chica. They are making sure they're extra dirty for when we get them in. Mm -hmm. Like, they're, they're trying to get every inch and yeah. fur strand on their body dirty. Yeah, Milo has the haddad rolling in his poo. <laughs> and now they stand together in harmony and eat. So guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. Uh, it was quite entertaining, you know. Um, I'm just going to show you guys how dirty he is. Um, I'm surprised Milo's not much dirty um, because he rolled in the muddiest patch and Popcorn just like rolls somewhere over there. But thank you so much for watching today's vlog and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Oh, that's so dirty. Not too dirty.